Hi, welcome back. Um, no, you're not seeing things. I did just film a tutorial with almost the same look. I just took my hair and like put it in a twisty thing on the side and changed my lipstick. Um, I don't know why I did that because it's, I'm like outing myself that I like changed so, to make another video, but I just wanted to wear something brighter with this shirt on film because it looks better to have like a brighter lipstick and I like to wear bright lipstick so there you go um okay so I'm here for my June empties I guess or just like my my up-to-date empties um and I don't know it's kind of a lot so I'm just gonna get started and I'll tell you if I like it or if I'd repurchase it um first things ooh. First things first are this Lust Body Soap from Lush. I don't have it because obviously I used it. Um, it is like the lavender, jasmine, and whatever scent. Jasmine, sorry, not lavender. Yeah, you know what? I liked it, but it like came off on your skin with like a red dye. And for some reason, I'm sure that it's like natural. I know it is from Lush, but I just didn't. Li I just don't like the like color literal color coming off like on your skin so I don't know if I'd repurchase that I think I'm gonna stick I was glad to finish it because I want it's the smallest piece that I got and I think next time I will get small pieces because I don't I like to switch up products I don't like like using the same product for a long time but that took about two months to use and I know my husband was using it too in this shower so anyways I'm glad he wanted to smell like um <laughs> jasmine Okay, and the next thing is I took a bath. What this is, uh, Butterball Bath Bomb. Um, wouldn't repurchase this again. I know a lot of people like it, but I guess I only okay like the scent. I did notice that it made my skin really soft and the scent stayed on my skin um, after I got out of the bath. So that was a bonus because I didn't, I don't take very many baths, but um, which is why my husband was like, why are you buying all this bath stuff? But I wanted to give it a whirl and I'm glad I did because I do like the um the um, bath bombs but I don't know I would like to try out other scents now that I have tried that one I would like to try out other ones so not that it was bad I just don't know if I would repurchase it um next thing that I finished up is this uh, Aveda styling care essence um detangles and helps fortify all hair types this was a great detangler. I don't think that Aveda makes it anymore, unfortunately. So um, I had to move on to other things, but I was glad to use this up. The scent, if if they perchance do make it, if you haven't come across it, it basically smells like an Aveda salon. It's just like that earthy-ish type scent. I know I describe a lot of stuff as earthy, but it's like that herbal scent that I'm trying to describe when I say that. Um, another thing is a dry shampoo, and you know what I was thinking about when I was like taking a shower one day because this is along the same lines, but I'm using a shampoo for like um, long hair. I don't know, is that confusing to any of you? Because what would a shampoo for long hair do that it wouldn't do for short hair? I mean, maybe weighing it down, but I don't want my short hair to be weighed down just as much as I don't want my long hair. Or does it get your hair cleaner if you have long hair than if you have short hair? So if you use the long hair shampoo for short hair, would it just jack up your short hair? I mean, why do we have shampoo for long hair? I want to know. But along those lines, I was also thinking about the fact that I used up another dry shampoo. And I was thinking, oh, I'm going to mention that in the video. And they're going to be like, why is she using up so much dry shampoo? Does that girl never take a shower? I assure you I do bathe myself, but I did go through another dry shampoo. I like to use dry shampoo all the time because, like, especially, I don't know if this is just me or if it's, like, ghetto that I do this, but my roots, like, I have blonde hair, but since I've highlighted my hair so much, my roots always appear darker, and I've always had, like, really dark eyebrows. So, that's, like, a side note. But... I spray dry shampoo because it kind of lightens up my roots. Am, am I alone here? Am I just like out on a branch and no one's with me? But yeah, so I use a lot of dry shampoo because like especially second day hair, I always am spraying in dry shampoo. And I love this one from Swap. I think it is the best one that I've tried. 
I liked the John Freedom one, but I really like this one for the price. I mean, it's gone, but it will, it has like a really fresh scent, so I like it. This is the, um, the Salon Proven one. I know there were, there were two types of suave dry shampoos, but it's this one in the silver bottle. So I will definitely, I, re I already repurchased that again, so I totally would. Um, another thing, this is random, but someone suggested to try this on my hair. Um, Ki Suave Kids Detangling Spray. It smells like double Dutch apple. It really does smell like apples. I've been using this, um, I have twin girls, and I've been using this on their hair pretty much since they were, since they had hair. One of my viewers suggested this, and I tried it on my own hair, which I don't know why I never thought to do that before, but... I did and I love it. So I used it up in conjunction with my daughters. So um, I'm always going through these uh, little Neutrogena thing. I think I bought like a huge six pack at Sam's. Um, these are the cleansing towel makeup removers. I like these, but I think I am going to, to be trying out different brands. Um, I don't know. Sometimes my skin feels a little bit roughed up by them, but I do like them for, I mean, I'm not going to lie, sometimes I just use this without washing my face. The horror. But if I'm in a pinch, I do. So um, I don't want to try and lie to you. So anyways, I, I do find that sometimes they are a little bit rough on my face sometimes. Um, but maybe it's because I'm trying to scrub like, all my makeup off with them rather as if I would have washed my face, this would have been easier just to like get the stuff that didn't come off. So I do like these, um, but I think I'm going to try different brands, but if you are in the market for them, these are good from Neutrogena. Okay, another thing I fell for, and I'm like a little bit embarrassed because it's like who falls for this, but I do. This is this Optic White Toothpaste from Colgate. Um... I think it was Bentley Blonde and like some other people and I'm not saying and she came back and said that this didn't work but like right when she said it did work I was like woo I'm going to get it so I went and got it I mean it's toothpaste I needed toothpaste anyway so it's not like I really wasted my money and it you know brushed my teeth but it says that it's it's um it has the same whitening ingredient as in the crest or chloride strips Colgate strips whatever um, I wouldn't say I noticed anything in particular. Can you, can you tell? I don't know. I, I'm, I wouldn't rush out to get this as if it's a cure. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, I used up this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation, and my color is in 40 Nude. I love this stuff, and I did already purchase a new one. Um, I would totally buy this if you don't already own it and it has SPF 20 in it so this is like one of my staple foundations I think I always have in my collection I used up this Aruba coconut from Bath and Body Works I guess it does have a little bit but you know it is a B to get this out of the thing like just that little tiny little thing it is so hard to get it out so I just say screw it and I leave like just a little bit in there because I just cannot get it out I like this scent but I'm not quite sure I don't ever think that I like continually repurchase a scent from Bath and Body Works I really don't I don't have like one signature scent um, I like a lot of different scents, and I like the fruity, coconutty type stuff. I really like to try out different stuff. I get really bored of lotions really fast. Same with shampoos, all that stuff. It's like, it's very rare that I will repurchase a shampoo product because I just like to try out a bunch of different stuff. So that goes with lotions. So I don't know if I would repurchase the Aruba Coconut, but it smells very good. It smells coconutty but like extremely like fake coconutty so actually now that I said this I'm like recanting my statement is that a word did I just make it up recanting anyways be enchanted that is one I would go back for I it is I really do like this scent be enchanted and I think I have featured it in a favorites but I used it all up and I would repurchase that in the full size 
Okay, this is like super janky. I don't know if I can even count it, but I'm going to. I used up this like little natural lip liner from Mary Kay. Um, and I used up this bronze eyeliner from Mary Kay, and I really liked this bronze color. It's kind of like Stila's Lionfish, so if you have Mary Kay eyeliner, signature eyeliner in bronze. Okay, I don't know if I already counted this in a last one, but this is a Victoria's Secret eyeliner in Blackberry. I used that up. And this is my last thing I've used up this month is the Mary Kay eyeliner in black. Um, don't let me lie to you, when I was going through my, um, eyeliners, I noticed that this had, like, literally, like, two uses. So, I used it two times, but it had been a product that I had used up most of the way before. So, I really only used this, like, two times and it was gone. So, I mean, I'm not trying to, like, count it by cheating, but it is gone and I can finally throw it away because I showed it. Okay. Oh. Oh. I used this sample of the Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup in Neutral. Um, it was too dark for me, but I went in and got um, this makeup in a different color. I forget. But I really like this makeup. That's it. I have officially shown you my uh, all the things I used up in June. So, well, May and June maybe. Um, I will try and collect some more empties to show you, and I really appreciate you watching, and have a great day. Bye. Seriously, I've been looking for these toys forever, but guess what? I just found them right now when I was filming. I happened to look to the side. <sighs> oh, children, please do not come in my filming room. Means take your horsey and ride take your little people and ride it into my filming room and play in a secret corner over there play in that little corner with your little horsey things and then cry when you can't find your horsey and your people and your people cry when you can't find your horsey and your people that's what they did Ugh. drive me nuts so now I gotta go and Tell them the good news. I found their people and their horsey. <sighs> I love those girls.